Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Tuesday, July 11th, 2017. I want to talk to you about the bag cell. I have constructed an all iron battery using a plastic bag and a polymerized separator. And I want to talk to you about how I made that. The gist of it is I managed to put together an iron anode and iron EDTA cathode using a aluminum current collector on each side and a polyacrylamide co-polyacrylic acid separator, which hopefully will help prevent self-discharge and allow for sodium transfer between the two layers. If you want to see how that's constructed, allow me to demonstrate. So I've got a little bit of acrylamide, bisacrylamide mix, usually made for polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, but I'm going to repurpose it. To that I'm going to add some acrylic acid, about 1% final volume. That's pure acrylic acid, not acrylic acid in solution. So now I've got water, bisacrylamide, acrylamide, and acrylic acid. I'm going to add some ammonium persulfate to that, about oh, 40 microliters of 10% ammonium persulfate to 10 mils of total solution, and then put my paper spacer inside my bag, get a little bit of Temid, link in the description, and I'm going to initiate my 10 mils of solution with that Temid. The Temid reacts with the APS and produces a whole bunch of radicals, and the radicals are going to cause the acrylamide, bisacrylamide, and acrylic acid to polymerize. Before it polymerizes, however, I'm going to add it to the plastic bag and then spread it around to try to avoid any bubbles. So the whole piece of paper should be wet. I already pre-calibrated that 10 milliliters of solution was sufficient to cover this whole piece of paper. So once I've got all the bubbles out, I took a little bit of my remaining um, acrylamide solution, there's about half a mil left over, and I added a little blue dye to it just so you could see what it looks like when it's done polymerizing. After it's an hour or so of polymerization, it forms this gel material. And you can see as I poke it with a stick, uh, it's, it's a solid now or a semi-solid. For current collectors, I'm gonna try using some aluminum foil. It took me a bit to cut that to shape, but once I had that with a little tab for the electrical connection, I made two of them and then inserted them into the plastic bag so that I could make the positive and negative connection and so they wouldn't short. Now once I've got the aluminum current collectors installed, I'm going to add iron to the anode side. And for that I have some steel wool. Once I've got my iron anode, I'm going to sprinkle some graphite powder into the cathode layer to try to keep everything separate, and then I add the iron EDTA to the cathode layer. That's going to absorb the electrons that are generated when the iron is oxidized. Meanwhile, the sodium ions will be transferred across to balance the charge. whole thing has a voltage of about 0.2 volts, and yeah, there you have it. Hope you find that interesting. If you like that sort of thing, tune in Monday through Friday. We update and talk about science, chemistry, and batteries, and DIY projects here in the Allen Lab.